So um, let's say you want to go to Mars. One of the things that we've got to figure out is how can you get a small crew of people staying you know, millions of miles away from Earth for like six to 18 months without killing each other. You know? And so that's, that's a really kind of interesting psychological issue. And we've been trying to figure it out through things like Mars simulation bases, like this one called High Seas uh, in Hawaii. And there have been lots of different kind of, uh, of, of these um, uh, simulation bases. And usually they're kind of populated by volunteers. They're, not, they're usually not paid. And you might be wondering, you know, what is the sort of person who actually volunteers to kind of cosplay in you know, one of these Mars simulation bases? Well, that's me. I actually did that. Uh, 14 years ago on the Mars Desert Research Station in Utah. And this place was kind of chosen by um, James Cameron for filming a Mars movie. And so they decided to go and put a Mars base here. Um, the Mars Society did. And so our crew, Crew 9, was out there for two weeks. And the idea was that we would kind of be doing kind of geological research. We were going to set up this uh, thing called the Green Hab, which is a kind of greenhouse to try and use plants to recycle all our poo and urine into kind of like make the water sort of more pure. And to be honest, you know, it, it's not like an actual Mars base. Obviously, this is the inside of the base, and it just looks like a normal kind of lab. Um, it's really more about the kind of processes and trying to understand, you know, what it's like to kind of communicate with other people. It's a really good advantage that we kind of put it in Utah because it just looks absolutely beautiful. This was one of the first times I actually spent outside of the UK, and I was kind of blown away by just the kind of scenery. And so we will go on these kind of EVAs or kind of extra HAB activities. This is me, really young, in a kind of spacesuit. Don't look too close because it's not a real spacesuit. It's kind of like made out of a kind of trash can. And, and we have, a, we have a, like a, these ATVs out there which we kind of use for getting around. And I was not actually able to drive, but um, we sort of went on these. And every time I look at this and I see the serif font on the backpack, it kills me inside because they wouldn't use that you know, on actual NASA thing. So, so, <laughs> um, so we did a lot of stuff there. We, we um, also built a telescope when we were out there. So this is um, our commander of the mission, Mike Goff, who was a biologist who was out there. And I was assisting him as kind of health and safety officer. And so actually, this thing was being built out there. And kind of the weird story, um, when we were building it, we weren't wearing the spacesuits. And this guy in the sort of teal, He's um, the architect, Frank Schubert. Of, he's, he's the guy who designed this telescope. And he's a big Mars fan. And he's also the former lead guitarist of Devo. Like, what the fuck? You know, we could not believe this. We, you know, like, we had to sort of go and use our 30-minute time-delayed Wikipedia connection to go and find out whether this is true. It is true, and you can look it up. Um, so anyway, to come back to it, um, one of the things that that we discovered was that we basically were able to do very little research because things, everything just kept on breaking, like the toilet broke. And we had to go and do one for the team and try and figure out, you know, put on a hazmat suit and try and use the kind of incinerate. The, uh, the green hab, there were far too few plants for all the poo and like urine we kind of generated. We just killed all the plants. And so, and so, uh, so our biologist, Duncan Galloway, he, 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 um, he was not very happy about the whole situation. But we, we did this sort of usual Martian thing where we kind of used kind of good old know-how to kind of uh, use like a drill and just like homemade tools to make a centrifuge to kind of separate out all the kind of uh, biological matter that we were doing research on. I was meant to be kind of a health and safety officer, but I realized after like about two hours that probably the most useful thing I could do is just go and write a manual about how to use the hab, how to go and turn on the generator while blowing everyone up, which almost happened when we kind of smelt propane sort of uh, uh, in the middle of the night and, and we thought we were actually all going to die. And so, um, you know, that's a really kind of important thing about sort of just making things maintain. I think it's going to be really hard when you're on Mars, just keeping people happy. Um, we were made happy by when we sort of did a sort of exploration of the base and we found this beer just like hiding behind one of the panels, we think by kind of one of the, some of the people who built it. In Utah, you can't like drink high alcohol like beer, so, so this was a real sort of treasure that we found. And I think one of the things that we've discovered, which is maybe not a surprise, is that you need to have really good interpersonal sort of relationships when you go on this kind of expedition. If you aren't talking to each other, then you're gonna be unsafe, you can't do research. It's really important to be able to have fun on Mars, take photos of yourself on a toilet reading a newspaper. Thank you very much.